We have breaking news in South Spokane right now. Good afternoon, I'm Robin Nance. Spokane police are investigating two explosions at Ferris High School. The school has been evacuated. KXLY 4's Ian Cole is live on the scene with the latest details. Ian. Ian, can you hear us? I can hear you now. Yeah, we're uh, outside of Ferris right now where Ferris have just, uh, where students have just been told uh, that they can go home. The students that are uh, basically walking or driving home uh, you can see there's quite a few students outside. The students who can't, who take the bus here, have been told uh, to wait in the gym uh, until the buses arrive on campus. I'm going to duck around you here now. We're just joined now by Sienna. She's a uh, Sierra. She's a senior here. And what did they tell you about this? Um, they just basically said that there was a couple, maybe bottle explosions. One in the F building by a bathroom, and one in the commons um, by the lunchroom. And I was walking around the corner, and I just heard like. A boom basically and then there were janitors and then eventually they uh, marked it off with caution tape and said that we should all go home what was your first thought about what it was um i had no idea well i knew about the first explosion or whatever and so i heard the second one and i just figured oh it's another one in the bathroom and that's oh. what it was <laughs> and i understand that they told you three faculty members were hurt trying to clean this up yeah i heard I'm not sure I heard they had chemical burns trying to clean it up but they said that they weren't um, severely injured okay so so with minor injuries right now that's basically all we know once oh, again yeah. Ferris students allowed to go home uh, take their cars or walk home if, if they uh, can at this point otherwise we'll have to wait for the buses we're going to find out much more information on this uh, right now and throughout the day and give you the very latest right here on KXOY and on KXOY.com reporting live at Ferris Ian Cole KXOY 4 HG News all right, and Ian, can you still hear me? Yes, I can okay, hear you now. I realize you're just getting on the scene and just getting information, but um, you know that all the stu students have been evacuated. You've been covering that. Um, Adams Elementary School is pretty close to Ferris. Is there any lockdowns, anything going on at, at Adams? Uh, we don't know right now. We were able to uh, drive right here on the campus. Uh, the perimeter is basically the school. They haven't uh, caution, put any caution tape around or blocked off any of the entrances to the school. So we don't know that right now, but we do know that at least they're allowing students to walk home and they are, are, it appears uh, that they do believe it is safe uh, around the campus right now. So that's something we'll figure out very soon. Okay, Ian, thank you very much. We're gonna be checking back in. And as Ian has said, two explosions of soda pop bottles, two liter bottles. And we've done stories on this in the past that, uh, and here you're seeing some video that we have found online. They can explode with some pretty serious force. They can injure people and they need to be taken pretty seriously. And that's what police and fire are doing. Again, Ferris High School has been evacuated. Students are able to leave if they are walking or if they drive. If they're waiting for a bus, those buses will be there shortly. And those students are waiting in the gym. The school they believe is locked is is safe and students are again being able to leave. At this point, we have not heard of any serious injuries. Um, a student as is Ian. So this is not confirmed, but the student said she had heard that a couple of faculty members were hurt, possibly with chemical burns or something. But again, that is not confirmed. That is just from what a student has heard. Um, again, Ferris has uh, been evacuated. And you're looking at a live picture right now of the scene. And we will be uh, checking back in with Ian. He's going to get some more information for us. But everything seems to be safe. No students hurt. And we'll be uh, bringing you more updates throughout the, the afternoon. And we're sending you back now to ABC Programming.